$54.24, the price of liberty. Fading stickers loosely slapped across packages of neon green and blue and black and purple. Her pixels no less meaningful than those of her brothers. Her blood no less red, except for mine Fräulein's drops of green. Her shape is shapelier, but her guns never get in the way of her guns. Such is woman. Sister Pac-Man, she really knew how to work it, even under the weight of the hair bow of man's oppression. Her way was the way of man meets woman meets man, until woman becomes man becomes woman and back again. We here at the Digital Women's Liberation Front have done careful market research and discovered that 73% of all video game VIX females are unrealistically proportioned and underdressed. Our mission to correct these wrongs with our own list of 12 members that we'd like to sign on. You know, women that like to give men a hard time. Is that what makes a woman liberated? Uh, yeah. We might want to keep an eye on our first nominee until we know who she's working for. Although it should be nobody because she's the boss. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. I found you. Brace yourself. She has no sexual attraction towards Snake. She doesn't wear perfume that gives her away when she's supposed to be undercover. She doesn't need his help. She didn't sleep with anyone to get where she is, and is ultimately a patriot all the way to the end. Take this. Keep it safe. It's our only hope. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I called, I called my, my cat, cat Boney, Boney till she, she said it wouldn't do. I said, why? She, she said, sister, because that's what I've been calling you. Even though Olivia was dating a big shot mobster, she was pretty open about the fact that she didn't love him and he was pretty crazy about her. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. Olivia Fernandez, video games, Ingrid Bergman. Catherine Hepburn. Ingrid Bergman. Catherine Hepburn. Ingrid Bergman. Catherine Hepburn. I hate you. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. Hey, how about another poem? Okay, okay, okay last, last one, one folks. folks. With bony hands, I hold my partner. On soulless feet, we cross the floor. The music stops as if to answer. An empty knocking at the door. 
It seems his skin was sweet as mango when last I held him to my breast. But now we dance this grim fandango and will for years before we rest. My favorite line from Olivia is when Manny tells her that she has really bad taste in men and she says, no, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. <laughs> oh, I know that sentiment well. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. But they stole Dogen's brains. No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was gonna take them out. And was it a creepy looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! Alice is just a little too cute for me. <laughs> no way! Alice is one of the first best heroines in gaming. In Fantasy Star, she embarks on a quest for revenge after her brother is killed at the hands of a dictator named Lassik. In the end, Alice defeats Lassik, only to discover an even more sinister presence behind the throne, which she vanquishes in turn. So this girl, who starts off as little more than this anti-establishment punk, ends up saving the whole galaxy from terrible peril. All with a woman's touch. Feel better now? Tetra was a turn from the traditional girls in the series. Where previous Zeldas and Saria were bubbly and cute, Tetra was leader of the pirates. That's not simply a twist, that's a total paradigm shift. also responsible for stuffing Link into the barrel for one of the game's most memorable sequences. We like the kind of girl who can put Link in his place.
Jade wasn't the first empowered woman in video games, but she's one of the most frequently cited. Jade protects both children and animals, but she isn't afraid to get nasty with the bad guys. This is the kind of thing you can expect from a freelance photojournalist on a war-torn planet. Good and Evil was a hit with critics, but it didn't sell particularly well in stores. We like to think that's because the largely male game-buying demographic was intimidated by the idea of a woman that could kick their collective asses. Edward Diego gives the hacker level one access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. This is exactly the kind of woman we need on the digital women's liberation front. So, in other words, she's crazy. I re-examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished. But mine is only just... <laughs> you know, in the disc version of the game, I vaguely recall that she was actually referred to as he. Maybe we should reconsider her nomination. Watch out, or I'm gonna stick Shodan on you. Look at you, hacker. A p -p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. Oh, okay, you know what? She can stay. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll shake the room. You can't guess where I came from. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll shake the room. Oh, you can't guess stuff. where I came stuff. from. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll shake the room. You can't guess where I came from. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll shake the room. You can't guess where I came from. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll shake the room. You can't guess where I came from. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll shake the room. You can't guess where I came from. Bada bing, bada boom. You can't guess where I came from. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll shake the room. You can't guess where I came from. No, 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 no. What's going on? Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. Fans will remember that Sarah Kerrigan, also known as the Queen of Blades, was a highly gifted child psychically. Yeah, 
She emerged as one of the most powerful soldiers in the Terran fighting forces. I've taken care of business on this end, Commander. I think the Antigans are ready to back us up, too. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. Kerrigan is central to the StarCraft storyline, and soon becomes the series' anti-hero of sorts. This is Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. But, being the very symbol of a brilliant and ruthless warrior, Kerrigan prevails, leaving you wondering where the story is going to take her next. Arise, my daughter. Arise, Kerrigan. By your will, Father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the Overmind feel the wrath of the Swarm. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving yet. So you did miss me. I'm detecting Covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating motion tracker. Let's find a safe exit. The life pods are launching. We should hurry. Warning. Blast door is closing. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. Warning. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Alert! Covenant dropship inbound. They must be looking for survivors. Can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? I remember Samus being a big victory for me as a young girl gamer. She was one of the first characters that didn't embody the typical female physicality. Now, modern feminists might believe that a woman should be able to look like a woman without being a sex object but there's something admirable about her gender neutrality throughout the series. Yeah, uh, until her suit got boobs. find the ending of the early Metroid games to be pretty oppressive. I mean, here was this kick-ass female character who could be stripped down to a bikini if the male audience wished it. Do you really think a bounty hunter of this magnitude would let that happen? No, I think she would blow their heads off. It's too bad Samus couldn't be compensated with the home address of every kid who saw her in her swimwear. Hey, Daddy A.O., you may control her moves, but you'll never really see all that goes into woman. Busted, breathless, banal, bimbo, that she will never be one with me. Oh no. Man is lame, woman is game.
Yankees.